far back as I can remember, uh, posters have been part of my life. Growing up in the 70s, my walls were covered in these psychedelic black light posters. Uh, when I discovered music, um, those posters turned into concert posters. Uh, even today, when you walk into my office, I have posters hanging on the walls, they're leaning up against windows, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. Um, so uh, why do I design posters? I really love posters. Um, I would say an impactful image that tells an engaging story and has a really strong aesthetic. I feel the poster plays many roles in society, whether it be entertaining, uh, educational, to affect change. Um, and although some argue that the poster is a dying medium, I still see it demand the attention of the public all over the world. The most important thing I do is try to educate myself on a particular topic. Even if I feel I understand a particular subject, I still do exhaustive research. I feel there's always more to learn and always more to discover. Then it's about concept and image making followed by aesthetic. An important aspect for me is that no matter how ugly a topic may be, that the uh, image itself must be beautiful uh, in, in some way to be successful. For me, it's not about one particular poster as much as it is a poster movement or a particular period of time. Um, for example, the Italian 20th century uh, Novecento. Um, I love the Polish poster, everything from the surreal posters to the Cirque posters. Um, the New York School, I'm a fan of as well. Uh, it's, it's, that's how it, it is for me rather than a particular poster. I would treat it as an activity done for pleasure and perhaps a way to give back. Um, it's not really a way to earn a living. It's something you have to do uh, because you really love doing it. Uh, but I say if you're interested, then jump in and have fun.